This is Scott James with Blue Water Yacht Sales. I'm on the 2005 52 foot Viking called Cutting Up. And this video is to explain some of the special uh, features that have been um, done to this boat to make this boat uh, easier for somebody with mobility issues to get on board and move around the vessel. Okay, we're up on the bridge. And what we've done is we have swung the back rail with the rocket launcher out of the way. And we're now moving the crane. You can see the cranes run from a handheld wired remote. And the idea is here is that you can swing the crane over to the dock and pick someone off the dock in a chair and set them into the cockpit. So this is a, it's a Marquip 800 pound capacity crane. Full function in terms of raise, lower, cable in, cable out, and rotate. Okay, so the idea here is that you can lower the cable, and with a lifting harness, which there is one included with the boat, pick straight up, swing the person, the chair and the person, over into the cockpit, and set the chair down so that they can move around in the car. And it's made to be very, very easy. Okay, so up on the bridge, <clears throat> we have two stead helm chairs, and the passenger chair is outfitted with a seat belt, okay, so that you can seat belt someone in here, and also there is there's footrest but this particular chair has power raise and power lower and it also has power fore and aft in um, on that particular chair another feature over here that was done just for um, just for the current owner is that right there is a twist lock plug and you can plug in an electric reel right there and the idea is that you could put a rod in one of the rod holders here or sit in the chair spin the chair around and you can work an electric reel that plugs in right there we also have another couple of things here so the as the the bridge ladder comes up the elevator comes up to this height that that hatch will close you can close that hatch, stand on it. You can see how heavy, how thick that is, okay? Stand on that, and then there is also a board, basically, that allows you to set someone in this chair and slide them over to that chair. All right, so we're at the top of the bridge elevator here, and as you can see, so the idea is that you can, you can hang on here. You can certainly seat belt someone here, but this will pivot so that you can get right up next to the helm chair, slide into the helm chair, and then slide over to the passenger chair. And this is the, this is the seat that stores in the front of the bridge, in that position right there. All right, so I'm, I'm obviously standing in the cockpit, but the, uh, the bridge elevator is coming down, is coming down right now and there is a wireless remote for that so theoretically somebody could stand at the bottom with the remote or somebody could stand at the top with the remote but the idea is that you're gonna gonna ride basically right up that right up the ladder and onto the bridge and you can see that it's still a fully functioning ladder as well all right so another thing that's been done here is that if if uh, if this seat is removed, there is a standing platform that can be mounted to the bottom right there, and you can simply stand and ride this to the top. That is another item that does go with the boat. Okay, so once uh, someone is, is placed from the dock into the cockpit, you can, you can basically... If you're in a uh, an electric 
wheelchair like a jazzy you can roll over and onto this platform right here which comes up to this height and then you can roll right straight into uh, right straight into the salon also the uh, mezzanine seating here those cushions are removable that is something that was also done aftermarket and there is a storage area it's under the base of the davit and that storage area is where the uh, the outdoor electric wheelchair jazzy if you will is uh, stored is in that position there also as mentioned in the listing the left arm this arm here of the fighting chair will swing and pivot out of the way to make it easy for someone to slide in and out of the chair. All right, so standing in the cockpit now, and you will notice that there's a platform lift right here that comes up. It's a wired uh, wireless remote also, and it'll come up to this level. This is removable, but the idea here is that this this platform comes up to this level and you can roll right straight into the salon. Yeah, go ahead. So this comes up, nice controlled rise right up to this level. And then here we go, we'll just, again, it's an easy walk if you're walking. If you're in a uh, wheelchair, you can roll right here and then go right into the salon. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the companionway stairs and you'll notice that the door is now double width. And the idea is that you can get to the bottom of the platform, turn into the master stateroom, and that's where the chair fits to the floor. And also in here, the master bed has been slid all the way forward to give more room in this space right here. Okay, for getting into and out of the chair. Also, the door to the master head has been turned into a, a bifold door that folds out of the way to give you full access into the head and shower. And in here, you can see the shower door has been removed, replaced by a curtain, and there is a flip over seat right there to make it easy easy to sit and have take a shower and then also the commode itself has been affixed to a, a plate that basically rides up or down it's got 30 inches of travel so that it's easy to have the commode at the right height, the proper height for, uh, for someone. Okay, last couple of things inside the boat here. So the dinette has been raised and it's been raised so that it is easy to slide from the, uh, the electric scooter that stays inside the boat right into the dinette. That's the idea there. Um, the platform that goes in the cockpit stores under under that seat right there, and then also there's a there's a, a platform elevator that rides down these steps. You see the platform at the bottom. There are controls on the wall here, and then there's a, a handheld remote for that as well. Okay, so this is the companion way stair uh, platform lift. And basically you can see what it does. This, the platform remains horizontal and we ride right up to the top. And the idea here is that you can roll right to the salon level, roll on and off the platform, very easy. Okay, so just another real quick walkthrough of the other features of the boat. So the, there's obviously uh, laundry, washer and dryer. There is the bunk room and now I'm moving forward. Here's the guest head and shower. There is a privacy door that goes into the bunk room. 
which is right there. This door goes into the hallway, and this door goes into, into the forward stateroom, and you can see the forward stateroom is a, it's a full queen. That's up on a pedestal. And so, uh, so basically, you have a fully functioning 52-foot Viking with some special modifications. That's what we have. Okay, one final thing. So you do have your handheld remotes here. In the event that you lose a battery or something like that, you do have manual switches for the cockpit lift and for the bridge elevator that are right here on the panel. And also on the wall, there's a manual switch for the companionway uh, platform lift that's right there.